Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. On today's episode on Let's Hack an X-ray, we will be discussing the fracture of clavicle, which is one of the most common fractures that can happen in the body. So what is clavicular fracture or the fracture of the clavicle bone? The fracture which commonly occurs at the junction of medial two-third and the lateral one-third of the shaft of clavicle is termed as the clavicular fracture. That is the commonest site of fracture. So let's compare a normal X-ray with that of a clavicular fracture. So first of all, let's assess or let's see a normal X-ray of the clavicle where you can clearly see the margins of the clavicle here where I'm running the cursor. And this is the medial end of the clavicle here. And over here is the lateral end of clavicle which articulates with the acromion process. And you can see a small joint space here isn't it and that is the acromioclavicular joint and when you consider the shaft of the clavicle there is a point that is the weakest of the whole shaft that is where the medial two-third of the shaft joins with the lateral one-third of the clavicle so here we have to consider the entire length of the shaft and divide it into a medial two-third and a lateral one-third and the junction of which is considered to be the weakest point in the shaft and that is where commonly the fracture happens. So on the right side, you can clearly see the fracture of the clavicle where if you trace the margin of the shaft of clavicle, you can find a discontinuity here, isn't it? You can clearly find a discontinuity and you can see that the medial fragment or the medial piece of clavicle has been dislodged upwards or it is displaced upwards by the pull of a muscle called as the sternocleidomastoid. And on the lateral side, you can see the lateral one third that is displaced downwards because of the weight of the upper limb. So this is the commonest way of uh, displacement happens, which uh, happens after the fracture of the clavicle. So the fracture happens at the site where the medial two third of the shaft joins with the lateral one third. And the displacement of the fragments or like the pieces happens, the medial side displaced upwards by the pull of sternocleidomastoid and the lateral piece get displaced downwards because of the weight of the upper limb. So this is the commonest way in which you can diagnose the clavicular fracture. And here one more fact you have to observe is that here you can see the acromioclavicular joint here the joint space was very thin and here you can see there is a considerable increase in this joint space and that is because of the subluxation of the acromioclavicular joint. So this is how you can diagnose the clavicular fracture in an x-ray. So let's see what are the causes and the commonest causes being the falling on your shoulder or an outstretched hand which creates an immense pressure over the weakest point of the clavicle and causing it to fracture. And during a road traffic accident, usually the hand will be held with the steering. And when there is a collision, there are chances for an immense pressure that is coming to the transmitter to the hand. And that can in turn cause the fracture of the clavicle. And the third one being the birth injuries. If the baby's shoulder is broad enough and during the time of parturition, when the baby is pulled out with pressure, then there can be a green stick fracture is or like a bend of the clavicle that can happen at this very same site and these are considered to be the commonest causes for the clavicle fracture so let's see what are the complications caused by the clavicular fracture the relations itself to the clavicle says about the complications so what are the structures related to the clavicle they can get injured right so when we have to consider the nerves and vessels which are passing next to it, for example, the brachial plexus, which is passing behind the clavicle shaft. Then we have the subclavian artery there. So any injury to these nerves and vessels can have further complications to the upper limb blood supply as well as the nerve supply. And another condition is poor or delayed healing of the fractured bone. So the clavicle bone is very late to heal. So if a fracture happens at an elder age, the chances of the bone to get healed 
is very less and the healing process will be very slow. And one more thing can happen. You have seen the displaced fractures, right? Displayed, uh, displaced uh, segments and it can get fixed or united in this manner itself, causing a malunion because we have to fix it back and then it has to join back together. And if that union is not happening properly, then it is called as the malunion of the bone ends. And that will be associated with the bony lump, which is formed at the site of the malunion. So these are the commonest complications that we see in clavicle fractures. And if you have any further radiological anatomical queries, do post them as the comments below. And we'll be answering that shortly. Thank you.